Welcome to our exploration of the Twelve Olympians. We'll examine how these divine figures reflect human complexities, aspirations, and conflicts through ancient Greek mythology. As we delve into these stories, we'll see how they continue to resonate with modern experiences. The Olympians' tales also provide insight into the social and political structures of ancient Greek society, offering a window into the daily lives and beliefs of people from that era. The pantheon of Olympian gods presents the human experience through celestial figures. The twelve deities ruling from Mount Olympus embody both virtues and flaws. Zeus, king of the gods, exemplifies this duality. His power and authority reflect societal leadership, while his affairs mirror human desires and moral struggles. These legends serve as a lens for exploring the intricacies of human nature and societal dynamics. As we examine these myths, we'll see how they evolve to reflect the changing cultural landscape of ancient Greece. The stories also reveal the Greeks' attempts to explain natural phenomena and the world around them through divine intervention. The origins of Greek mythology can be traced back to around 2000 BCE, with stories passed down through generations. The narrative evolved from Titans to Olympians, reflecting cultural shifts. Zeus's rebellion against Cronus marked a pivotal moment. He freed his siblings, who had been swallowed by their father, leading to the Titanomachy. This war culminated in the Olympians' victory, establishing a new divine order that would shape Greek culture for centuries. This transition set the stage for the relationships and power dynamics among the gods, particularly between Zeus and Hera. The shift also represented a move from nature-based deities to more anthropomorphic gods, reflecting the growing complexity of Greek society. Zeus and Hera embody power dynamics in classical mythology. Zeus, with his thunderbolt, governs the divine realm, mediating conflicts and maintaining cosmic order. His authority reflects Greek ideals of leadership. Hera, as queen, oversees marriage and family, her relationship with Zeus mirroring societal views on gender roles. Their narratives illuminate Greek cultural norms, showing how divine archetypes influenced and reflected social structures and expectations. Zeus's role as father of both gods and mortals also highlights the Greek concept of divine lineage and its importance in their society. Hera's jealousy and vengeance against Zeus's lovers and offspring add a layer of complexity to their relationship, reflecting human emotions and conflicts. From Athena to Poseidon, we see the multifaceted nature of Greek thought. Athena, born from Zeus's head, embodies wisdom and civilization. Her patronage of Athens reflects the city's dedication to arts, philosophy, and civic ideals. In contrast, Poseidon's domain over seas, storms, and earthquakes represents nature's power. Their rivalry symbolizes the ongoing struggle between human rationality and natural forces, a key theme in Greek cultural and philosophical legacy. Athena's role as a virgin goddess also highlights the Greek concept of purity and wisdom while Poseidon's temperamental nature reflects the unpredictability of the sea, vital to Greek maritime culture. Next, we encounter Aphrodite and Ares, embodiments of love and war. Their affair symbolizes the interplay between passion and conflict in relationships. Aphrodite's allure represents love's compelling force, while Ares personifies the unpredictability of strife. This divine pairing illuminates internal struggles, where affection and discord often coexist, offering insights into Greek understanding of human complexity. Aphrodite's diverse origins and different myths highlight the complex nature of love in Greek thought. Ares' unpopularity among the gods, despite his importance, reflects the Greeks' ambivalent attitude towards war, recognizing its necessity but not glorifying it. Apollo and Artemis embody human duality. Apollo, god of reason, governs arts, law, and medicine, symbolizing civilization's order. His oracle at Delphi influenced Greek society. Artemis, his twin, represents our wild nature. As goddess of wilderness and hunting, she embodies freedom and primal instincts. These divine siblings reflect the Greek understanding of human essence, balancing rational thought with untamed impulses. Apollo's association with the sun and Artemis with the moon further emphasizes their complementary nature. Their roles as protectors of youth also highlight the importance of guidance and transition in Greek society. 
Hephaestus and Hermes represent human ingenuity in different ways. Hephaestus, god of fire and craftsmanship, symbolizes creative spirit and technological advancement. His artistry reflects Greek reverence for skilled artisans. Hermes, the messenger, represents communication and commerce, highlighting the importance of trade and social interaction. Together, these deities illustrate the spectrum of human innovation, from creation to distribution. Hephaestus's physical imperfection and his marriage to Aphrodite present interesting contrasts in Greek ideals. Hermes's role as a psychopomp, guiding souls to the underworld, adds depth to his character, connecting the mortal world with the afterlife. The gods' relationships mirror societal complexity. Olympian rivalries and alliances reflect political dynamics. The Trojan War exemplifies this divine mortal interplay with gods taking sides in human affairs. Zeus and Hera's turbulent marriage symbolizes power struggles in Greek households, while Athena and Ares's rivalry represents the tension between wisdom and warfare in city-states. These celestial conflicts offer insights into ancient Greek cultural values and societal structures. The gods' interventions in mortal affairs highlight the Greek belief in the interconnectedness of divine and human realms. Their frequent disagreements also reflect the political fragmentation of ancient Greece with its many independent city-states. Greek deities evolved alongside society. Athena's transformation from warrior to wisdom patron mirrors cultural shifts from Mycenaean to Hellenistic eras. Her evolving attributes reflect Greece's growing emphasis on intellect and civilization. Similarly, Apollo transitioned from a god of plagues to a patron of arts and prophecy, illustrating how divine roles adapted to changing values and societal needs across centuries. This evolution demonstrates their enduring relevance. The incorporation of foreign deities into the Greek pantheon over time, such as Dionysus, shows the adaptability of Greek religion. The gradual shift towards more abstract philosophical concepts in later Greek thought also influenced the perception and roles of the gods. The Olympian archetypes continue to shape our world. In psychology, concepts like the Oedipus complex draw from Greek myths. Literature from James Joyce's Ulysses to Rick Riordan's Percy Jackson series reimagines these ancient narratives for modern audiences. Contemporary art and media, including characters like Wonder Woman, derive inspiration from Greek mythology. These enduring archetypes offer a framework for exploring human emotions, social dynamics, and universal experiences demonstrating their lasting relevance. The influence of Greek mythology extends to scientific naming conventions, with celestial bodies and elements often bearing names from myth. Moreover, the ethical and philosophical questions raised in these myths continue to be debated in modern contexts, showing the timeless nature of the issues they address.